Right then, let's uh, let's get to the word on the pitch then. It is the third time that this pitch is being used in this tournament. Baz is alongside me. Um, talk about the Pacers. How are they going to go on this surface? Yeah, as you said it, three games in, what, seven days' time, so you're bound to expect the pitch to lose a bit of pace. Uh, the fact of the matter is that it still looks pretty good. It's well rolled in, but as we walk down, we search for a blade of grass. There is no grass, but you want to be short of a length, I think Rashid Khan will be key because he loves bowling on such a surface. He'll bowl quickly, he'll bowl into the stumps, and if he gets a millimetre of spin, then he's so difficult. If, is he? And what do you make of this surface? Is, is he going to get anything out of this surface here, the length he's going to try and pitch it? I think with the pace of the pitch, he'll get something anyway, but I do think there'll be a bit of spin for him. There'll be something to work with. If he's on song, he'll make it extremely difficult on this surface. Two sides, let's be honest, haven't mm. really clicked with the bat in hand. How do you try and bat on this surface, bearing in mind what we've seen so far? Now, look, what we've seen is that because of the ball not coming on, you can't just stand still and, and hit through the line or hit across the line, basically. So the players that have prospered, Martin Guptill took his time and then hit with a vertical bat. But for that to happen, you need to be quite lucky the bowler's pitching it up. And also, you've got to give yourself time and then when you give yourself time, do you then fall into a trap, then no, I have to score now. So the balancing act on a pitch that's not brilliant to bat on. Rather be a batter or a bowler on here? Fielder. <laughs> I, knew was, I knew it was going to be awkward. I knew it. Anyway, wise words of Bazid Khan. Back to you guys.